Let's balance the net ionic equation for MgNO3 2 plus K3PO4. We've got magnesium nitrate, and then we have this potassium phosphate. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This here, that's the molecular equation. You can see I've got three magnesium atoms here, just one here. Let's put a three here. Balances the magnesiums. Now I have these two nitrates here times three. So I have six nitrate ions. Let's put a six here. Now I have six nitrates here. Those are balanced, but I have six potassiums. How about a two as our coefficient here? Two times three is six. We also have two phosphates, but here we have two phosphates as well. So that is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. That's going to look like this. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, compounds with the nitrate ion, they are very soluble. And in general, compounds with the phosphate ion here, they're insoluble with a few exceptions. For example, elements in group one like sodium and potassium phosphate, they're soluble. So we're going to have an aqueous substance here with K3PO4, but most of the time, like with magnesium phosphate, they're going to be insoluble. So this is our solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Those are the states. Now we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And we don't split the solids apart because that's not a strong electrolyte. This is a solid. So we won't split this Mg3PO42 apart into ions. We'll keep it as a solid. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. For example, up top we have the reactants here. In the reactants we have six nitrate ions. In the products we have six nitrate ions, spectator ions. We cross those out. Six potassium ions, and again in the products, six potassium ions, spectator ions. We cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for magnesium nitrate plus potassium phosphate. I'll clean this up and write the states and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for MgNO3 2 plus K3PO4. You'll note that charge is balanced. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus, and then 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. So that all adds up to 0, net charge of 0. This is neutral, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium nitrate plus potassium phosphate. Thanks for watching.